Well, let's take a look at using the edge detector to determine the locations of edge features along a straight line. I'm interested in getting the distance between those two edges of those two circles. And I would like to be able to do so in such a way that it doesn't matter what the orientation of the part happens to be. I'll begin by defining this with my object where it's more or less aligned with the pixel rows and columns. In my first step, I find the right side edge, and then in the next, I find the bottom edge. I'm using a caliper to define the intersection of these two lines. Let's zoom in just a bit here, and you can see the little green crosshair showing up. Then I set the coordinate system based on its origin at the intersection, and then aligned with the part. Now as I go to different orientations of the part, different rotation angles, we see that the coordinate system always follows along with that reference feature on the object. All right, now to define this distance right here, I'll go back to my initial image. Here's the edge detector step, and I need to define a linear region of interest or a line ROI and it's automatically identified the first point. That would be our first edge, and that's it. Now, it's only looking for one edge, so we say let's look for both the first edge and the last edge. So now it's finding the second edge point, and it says it found two edges. Here we see the details about the coordinates of those points. We also see the distance both in pixel units as well as in real-world units. And the search direction is based on the way that I drew that ROI line in the first place. So in this case, going from left to right. Let me give this a meaningful name so that way later on I can find the measurement results in, say, a caliper step. And it's vital that you have reposition region of interest enabled here. Now it's using the coordinate system that was defined earlier. Let me backtrack just a little bit. Here we have the label that I typed in for the set coordinate system step. Let's open up the edge detector step one more time. And I'd like to illustrate that it sits where we needed to between those two holes. It's finding the edges no matter how the part angle is presented to the vision script. So this is working out very well. Now imagine that you did not have this reposition region of interest enabled. Now as the part presentation changes, it's no longer locked to the uh, object itself, and so that way these measurements would be meaningless. Again, remember to have reposition region of interest enabled.